All right, in this video, we're gonna be going over what everybody wants to know, how to get Go High Level clients fast and keep them paying you every single month, ideally forever. Even if you're a complete beginner, I'm gonna break down everything step by step. So let's jump in. So first things first, when you start doing outreach as a beginner, you need to be offering some sort of free value up front. There's a lot of different ways that you can do this. You can offer them a free website up front. You could offer a free trial up front and there's a bunch of other ways, but I think those two are the most popular. It's a lot easier to do it this way if you're just starting out as a beginner because you don't have the reviews, you don't have the testimonials and you don't have the previous experience to be able to show that client. So you kind of just use the free value as a hook and you hook them in with that instead of using testimonials or reviews like a more established business would. And I'm not saying you have to do this 100% because I've definitely seen some beginners be able to lock in their first few clients paid up front without using a free trial or a free website, but some people it's a little more difficult, so it's just a lot easier overall to use this free value, especially the free trials and the free websites. That's something I did when I first started and it works out really great. So the next thing I wanna go over is the age old question of should you niche down right away. Literally everybody on social media all over is saying niche down right away. The first thing you want to do is pick your niche. And this is quite possibly the stupidest advice I have ever heard. You're being told as a complete beginner to pick a niche and automatically limit yourself right away before you know anything about anything. So let me just scroll down here and show you. So if you don't niche down, this is your pool of potential clients to reach out to. You have a ton of people that you can reach out to. But now when you niche down, you're limiting yourself to a certain industry, let's say for example, just plumbers or just HVAC, and that's the only people you reach out to. Now your pool is limited to a much smaller group of people and there's no advantage to you as a beginner to do that. And there are benefits to niching down, but not right away. If you become really good at doing marketing for a certain industry, let's say HVAC, for example, if you have a kind of a wide range of clients, you have five different clients, you have one HVAC, one plumber, one roofing guy, and one cleaning business, and you realize, hey, I really like working with HVAC. I've gotten really good at making ads. I've gotten really good at using the software for the HVAC guys. I've gotten really good at doing SMS marketing for the HVAC guys. Then you have a competitive competitive advantage now to niching down because you can provide better results and better service to that industry. So what I would say, start broad, take whatever clients you can possibly get. And then once you get a couple clients, you're going to start realizing, okay, I really like to work with plumbers or I really like to work with roofers. You'll figure out naturally what you, what business you like to work with. And also you'll start to understand the different industries better. And it's just overall a much better idea start broad and then niche down. So now that brings us on to the next question of where should you start looking for clients? Where's the first place you should go look? So I tell everybody you want to start within your network first because you know all of these people like your friends and your family. You want to see if any of your friends and family own a business or if they know anyone that owns a business. This is the best place to start because you already have a connection built with these people. You already have a relationship and rapport built because you know these people, you might've known them for a long time. So it's gonna be much easier to go and pitch your service to these people rather than a complete stranger. It's always much easier to start with your friends and family. And you'd be surprised a lot of people actually, if you think about it for a second, know a lot of business owners that are just already in your network. So that's the easiest place to get your first client. They're gonna be much more likely and willing to hear you out and give you a shot. And I think a lot of people actually skip this. They don't even think about it. One of my very first clients was actually one of my dad's friends. I reached out to him, was seeing if he knew anyone that owns a business. And then he let me know that one of his friends owns a chiropractor clinic. I reached out to him, set up a meeting, scheduled a demo. It was super easy because my dad put us in contact. So we already had the relationship built there. And then I got him on the demo call and I ended up getting him locked into a free trial, which I eventually converted him then into a paying customer. Now, if you don't have any friends, family, or mutual connections that own a business, the next best place to go is any businesses that you go to often. So if you have like a local coffee shop that you go to, a local barber shop, a dentist, any restaurants that you go to often, this is the next best place to go because you already go to these businesses and you spend money there all the time. So it's much easier to go to the business owner and just say, Hey, I come to your business all the time. I really love it. I actually just started my own software company and I'm working with a couple other businesses to 
help them get more customers, to help them get ranked higher on Google and get more Google reviews. And I'd love if you could be one of the first people to try it. I could even give you a free trial. The reason this is likely to work out is because there's something called the law of reciprocity. And what that is, is it's a natural law of society where if you do something for someone, they're going to be much more likely to reciprocate that and return the favor by doing something for you in return. They almost feel obligated to actually return the favor to you. So because you're such a loyal customer to that business, the business owner, he or she might feel more obligated to help you out by working with you, by testing out your software, by getting on your free trial, because you're such a loyal customer to them. So that's why these businesses are the next best option. Now, once you've talked to all of your friends, family, mutual connections, businesses that you go to often, the next best place is to stay local. So these pretty much any businesses in your local area, in your town, in your city, this is the next best place because you know your town or your city better than any other area. So it just makes way more sense to start there and then branch out. More specifically, inside of these local small business Facebook groups, which I'm gonna show you here in a second, this is a really good place to look because they are filled with business owners. And there's a lot of these groups, by the way, but they are filled with small business owners in your local town, local city, that are looking to grow their business and get more customers. If they weren't looking to do those things, they wouldn't be in the groups. And on top of that, from my experience, I just have an all around much better time connecting with these people because you're in the same Facebook group as them. It's a little bit different than just finding some random business on Google because now you're just some random guy calling them from Google. But when you're in the Facebook group, it's a little bit different. I think there's more of an intimate connection there and they're just more likely to hear you out and hear your pitch. So now let's jump over to Facebook. I'll show you some examples of where to find the groups and what to post in these groups. So you can come on Facebook and you can navigate to the groups tab. And all you can do is type in small business plus the name of your town or city. You can also type local business. You could even type in certain industries like plumbing group, New York, uh, HVAC group, New York. There's a lot of those types of groups groups as well, but pretty much any of these work, they're all these, you know, small local communities for businesses. And you can just scroll down the list and join as many of the groups as you want. You'll find that there is really is a lot and you could even start branching out into other towns and cities near you if you want. So once you get accepted to these groups, there's two different things that you can do. So you can make these posts, you know, a nice friendly post trying to get people to try out the software. Basically what you're going to do is just get them on a free trial. So posts like these in all the groups are going to get people to comment. They're going to get people to DM you. Uh, but this is a really good way to, you know, get some engagement, get some inbound leads. And also, by the way, if you want all of my scripts, I have so many scripts. I have cold call scripts, cold DM scripts, cold text scripts, the Facebook group scripts, a bunch of snapshots. I have every resource you can think of for high level. As soon as you sign up for high level with my link, which I'll leave down below, I will send you all those resources and you can just feel free to shoot me a message on Discord if you need any help. Just let me know as soon as you sign up and I'll send everything over. Now, the next thing you can do is just go to the discussion and look for other business owners that are posting advertisements because those business owners are clearly looking to get more customers. I have a bunch of other videos on this, which I'll link up top, but you're just going to click on the discussion section of the group and you're going to scroll down. So this is one of them. This is a nails and spa place. You can keep scrolling. You'll you'll see a bunch of uh, you'll see a bunch of different businesses. Um, what do we got here? This is some sort of bar. Let's see if we can find another one. Liquid Armor Coatings, a tile and remodeling business. Looks like a pet sitting business, but basically you get the idea. There's a ton of businesses inside these groups that are posting advertisements and they're very clearly looking to get more customers. So it's a good client, a good prospect to reach out to, call and see if they'd be interested in getting a free trial or a free website or some some sort of free value so you can get them hooked in and then convert them into a paying customer. These Facebook groups are my favorite way of getting clients. These Facebook groups are literal gold mines if you do it right. So I have a bunch of other videos, like I said, on my channel. So definitely go check those out. But for right now, we're going to move on. So to finish up the topic of cold outreach, it is a numbers game. The more people you reach out to will result in more meetings booked, will result in more clients, will result in more money. There's no way around it. It is simply a numbers game. Volume. You want to be doing a whole lot of volume, as much outreach as you can. Even if you are literally horrible at doing outreach, if you do enough of it, you will be able to get clients. 
clients. So, and at the same time, you're going to be getting a lot better at it as well. I promise it will pay off. A lot of people in the beginning, they get discouraged at, because you're going to get a lot of rejection. You're going to get a lot of people saying no, hanging up on you, not answering. I promise stick with it, keep pushing through and it will 100% pay off. When I first started, I just sat in my room at just ripping the phones. I was ripping cold calls all day, every day for months. And I got so much better at doing cold calls and it became more enjoyable as I got better. But definitely in the beginning, I was getting no after no after no. I was horrible at cold calling in the beginning. And over time I got better. I got better at cold calling. It became more enjoyable and I was able to actually lock in way more clients. So I promise it will pay off. So now what do we do once we lock in a client using the hook of the free value? Once you get them signed up on the free trial, or even if you get them signed up on a paid plan, even if you get them locked in on the paid plan, you want them to stay. If you get them on the free trial, you want them to convert into a paying customer. If you get them on a paid plan, you want them to keep paying you every single month. So you need to show them immediate value right away so that they have a good experience. They like the software and they're going to stay with you. So like I said, what you want to do is deliver value right away. There's a couple different ways you can do this. I personally think the best way is something called database reactivation. So once you get this client locked in, you want to just go to them and ask, say, hey, do you have a list of all of your previous clients? Then you're going to take that list and you're going to send out some sort of offer to trigger the customer to purchase again. So let's say you have a plumber, for example, you can tell this plumber, hey, cool, we got you signed up and everything. Let me get a list of all your previous clients. Most business owners should have this. You're going to take that list of clients and you're going to put it into the high level software and then you're going to send out a mass text to all of the previous clients and it's going to say, hey, we really appreciate you being a customer in the past. We're doing a weekly or a monthly discount this month on a maintenance checkup of your plumbing system, whatever, some sort of discount or deal on a service that this plumber offers. Hey, we're doing 15% off this month only or shoot me a text if you're interested in scheduling an appointment. So this database reactivation should trigger probably 15 to 30% in people repurchasing or saying, hey, I completely forgot. I really do need my maintenance soon. Let me schedule an appointment. So you're going to get a lot of those people. It's going to trigger immediate revenue, immediate money for this plumber. So now he's going to be like, okay, cool. I just started working with this guy and I've already seen revenue off the bat on day one. This guy already got me money and sales on day one. So he's going to be really inclined to now convert into a paying customer or if he's already a paying customer to stay with you because he had a really good experience from day one. Now a review reactivation works exactly the same way. So you can do a mass text to all the previous clients, but instead of triggering repurchases, what we're looking to do is trigger a mass review. So if this business, for example, has been around for five, 10 years, they have a bunch of clients, but they never ask for reviews. This is exactly what you'd want to do the review reactivation for. So you'd reach out to them and say, Hey, we're doing a 20%, 25% discount this month on your next purchase. If you leave a, a Google review, so you can say in the text message, Hey, we're doing a 20, 25% discount count on your next purchase. If you leave a Google review using this link right here, if you leave the review, send us back a text saying review or send us back a text saying yes, and we'll send you your discount code. And then at that point, you can just have an automation set up to send them the discount code, or you can just manually send a discount code. So in my opinion, that is the best way to provide value off the bat because you're either generating money right away for the client, or you're getting them a bunch more reviews, which is going to get them ranked higher on Google, which is going to get them more customers. So that's pretty much it. If you follow these steps, you will have your first client within the 30 day trial, 100% guaranteed. If you follow these steps and do enough volume of cold outreach, you will get your first client. If you guys like these type of videos where I do the whiteboard and I kind of run through steps and break everything down for you, definitely drop a comment. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a great rest of your day.